So I want to tell you in two minutes or less why you want to come see the online formative session to learn about quizzes. Quizzes is like Kahoot, but I think it's cooler. So as you can see, I've got a quiz is open up here. I chose a hard one because, you know, I like to challenge myself. When you get the answer right, you get these cool memes that pop up and you get to see how you're doing against the rest of the class, similar to Kahoot. When you get the answer wrong, you see what you got wrong, and then these cute little memes pop up. So it's super engaging, and I found the kids want to practice more just because it gets them, they like to see it. The part that I like to see as the teacher is the live report that comes in showing how the kids are doing. The other part that you will like about quizzes is you could choose to make your own quiz and that's all well and good, but most likely someone else has already made the quizzes for you. So you just hover your mouse over these to see if you like them. If you do, you can duplicate and then just edit it to the way you like it. You could just hit play live and do it right now. You don't have to, or you could hit homework, and then this is what I really, really like, is leave it open for like 30 days, 20 days, 12 days, hit proceed, and then you put the practice back on the family, on the kids, saying go to join.quizzes.com and enter this code, and then they can practice as much as they want. You have a report showing who practiced and how they did. So it's really, really a powerful tool that the kids like to play. Please take a peek at it and come see me at the online formative session if you All right, in two minutes or less, I want to show you why you want to learn about Go Formative. Go Formative is pretty wonderful in that you can search out other people's mini lessons or formatives and just add them to your library. So you are not creating your own, you are borrowing. You are allowed to create your own, that's allowed. But for me, I shop and find other people's. The other part I like about GoFormative is that they can become their own mini lessons because you are allowed to add your own elements in between the formative questions. So for instance, at the bottom here, I could hit plus, and over here is the content. So I could add a whiteboard where I have stuff I'm teaching them or a video or even an image or something you could embed, like an ed puzzle. But then you're also allowed to add a whole bunch of questioning types as well and it looks like this for the kids but what's wonderful for the teacher is as um, kids are turning in their answers the teacher can see what the students are saying immediate feedback so you can start noticing whether or not there's a trend in right and wrong answers. It'll color code them for you so you can see and you it comes in live as the students are typing them in. You're walking around as they're taking a formative assessment and you are not, you have a one-stop shop summary showing who got what right and who didn't. So you can remediate really in that moment. That's really the power of GoFormative. So please take a peek at it and come to the online formative section to right, learn so more. So this is Microsoft Forms, and in two minutes or less, I'm going to explain why you're going to love it. What I did here was I created three multiple choice questions for the five times tables. Then after that, three multiple choice questions for the fours. Then after that, three multiple choice questions for the fixes I thought so what is pretty beautiful about Microsoft Forms is this if I click on the dots and then I click branching on question number one if they get it right I can send them down to question number four and skip over the other two five times table questions if they get it wrong pick one of these two selections, I send them to the next question. Same for question number two. If they get it right, I'd like to skip them down to the next standard or the next skill. If they get it wrong, I want them to continue practicing so I have more data. And so you can do that for every question. When I got to the fours, I have them skip to question number seven when they get it right, because I know that they know this and I want them to skip to the next standard. You can personalize your formative assessments for your students and only test them 
on one or two questions. You don't have to over test them to see if they know the standard. So you can do adaptive quizzing using something that all the kids have access to right here. What I also like about Microsoft Forms is this. I can put it inside a Nearpod, or I can leave it at a center with a QR code. It embeds in a lot of other tools. Take a peek and please join us at the online formatives.